we've got this interesting news here courtesy of RA regarding Bergheim's agency Oscott Booking which is interesting I'm not really sure what to read into this because I'm not really too familiar with how booking agencies work or you know um, the politics around it how it works in the industry whatnot if the landscape is changed, I'm not really too sure but this is interesting regardless because obviously Bergheim being the premier club in the world to close an arm of their business seems a bit interesting but anyway it continues it says here staff will continue to work at a Berlin based company until the end of the year um, sources confirmed that the news of resident advisor earlier today eight people will be made redundant when the agency shuts at the end of 2022 it's unclear what will happen to the 20 x on the roster so first off um my condolences goes to anybody who was working at oscott booking um it's obviously you know sad to lose your job anytime it doesn't matter if it's a scene job if it's a cool job it doesn't matter if it's a job working in a fucking local supermarket anytime you get made redundant when it's not your own decision is definitely something hard to take and definitely puts a lot of pressure on you to find another place in order for you to be able to pay your rent and keep a roof over your head but i've always found for myself usually um it gets it's really bad at the beginning but usually the but the only comforting thing i think that can come from it is that you know that it can't get any worse right somebody decided or not in terms of job wise other things can happen in terms of your life but in terms of the job wise be made redundant is the worst it's going to be so you just have to kind of hope that you can ride through or ride over or ride along that wave of uncertainty and doubt and then get to the other side that's all you need to do really that's all you need to do um it continues to, and plus as well if you've got Bergheim on your cv list i'm sure that will maybe help in terms of you finding other occupations maybe in the same space or changing career regardless of maybe if it was me i'd change career though because just because of how i've seen the clubbing landscape i feel like you know things have never really gone back to how it ever was and again I've, this is somebody who's been to Bergheim what three times since the pandemic ended or since the restrictions got lifted and even i can say as an avid fan of the place as you guys know from my reviews it's not as popping as it was pre-pandemic and i've only been going what the last seven years or something maybe 10 years or something like that and people have been going for far longer than i have so if i can recognize there's a shift in terms of the vibe and the overall fullness of the place and imagine people who've been going there since the early 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 times Anyway, it continues. Oscar Booking, which represents Ben Clock, Steffi, Marcel Dietman, and more, launched 15 years ago. Five artists, um, Sadif Adassi, um, Nati Sears, Jacko Jacko, Freddie Moham, and Lukuti joined earlier this year. Yeah, exactly. They made a big deal about it because they're all residents. Um, and they announced it. Well, they didn't see the last arm of the Bergen's operation to close following the label. Oscar turned in December for the 16 years. The outlet was dominant for and Dust Music, beloved for this mix series of Dozen EPs and albums. This final release was 16th for the Vetri compilation, which was called, or the that name is the the, the correction the previous article the, the, it was not 15 okay cool so time to speculate <laughs> so the only thing that i'm kind of speculating about that's kind of throwing me off is that recently they made a big song and dance and usually i don't feel like they did this no, no they did actually i'm, I'm lying because i remember them posting it on their facebook instead they'll post like a detailed thing when they had a new resident but i felt like they made, obviously with social media now they made a real big effort to announce their new flipping um, resident DJs who they had on board, right? Sidif Adassi, Nati Sirius, Jacko Jacko, Freddie Moham and Lakuti. Uh, it was like a big deal. These guys have finally made it to be resident DJs. They'll be playing there every single week, or, you know, willing there with them um, as long as they're willing uh, or, this, or the kind of calendar permits them to. So if they're closing the booking arm of it, which would be the booking agency that would be booking them to play other places too. Um, so if you were to play, get these guys to play in your place, you'd go or contact booking, obviously then it might mean that either they're going to just have them all be integrated with Vinberg kind of rules. It's not like a separate thing. So it's all going to be maybe in-house in like a terms of under the Burkheim umbrella. So it's like you're booking a Burkheim resident. You have to kind of email, you know, info at Burkheim or info at, you know, or sorry, bookings at Burkheim.com, whatever it may be. Or this might mean that they got them on board as like a, as like a kind of just kind gesture to make because they love what they did and they went to give them a boost in terms of allowing them to get more gigs but the plan was always to have them be residents but then have their own representation in terms of booking because they don't have the resources or the time to do the booking side because i'd imagine running a club day to day especially in the post-pandemic world even though it's not as full as they are i guess the operations behind it with dealing with you know regulations and all this red tape stuff is probably more difficult than it was prior i'd imagine so things have gone a bit tighter in terms of the supply supply chain in terms of getting stuff in you know brexit all this shit right i'm sure it's affected it so maybe they have so much on their plate they'd rather not have a separate booking agency and run the club also so they're just gonna say hey get rid of the booking agency you guys have your own agents anyway which are kind of managers 
sometimes right some people have managers that get them shows some people have agents that get them shows so the line can be blurred in that terms of represent you know maybe just representation but if you're a bigger person you may be signed to a talent management company overall and they you know can look after all that stuff so maybe they're like you know we're seeing it change we're seeing artists come to us who want to play who have no representation some have you know a group representation whatever it may be we're wasting our time doing this let them just find themselves who they want to represent and then we will deal with that person that way instead of kind of doing that whole thing that they're doing maybe that's the thing the only other thing i could say is that maybe this is an indication that Berghain is looking to sell or looking for investment later on down the line that's like a classic thing most companies do right they kind of cut the fat before they kind of go public or they kind of go for a round of fat uh, fundraising sorry you try and get rid of as much as you can as much lean meat as possible in order to ensure that um you are going to be an appetizing proposition for people if they want to invest so maybe again like i said this is just a pure rumor me speculating maybe there is something in the idea that they might be looking to sell the entirety of it or set up stake in it to kind of help them to get funding to you know keep salaries to pay people to keep the lights on for another year i don't really sure but you know, even though it generates a lot of money, I still make. I still think it kind of requires a lot to kind of keep it ticking over. And like I said, because I've definitely seen a dip in terms of the attendances there. Um, a big, I think the big op real test of that place will definitely be the New Year's Eve or the Club Sylvester coming up for this January. The, the one I went to, which was a makeup one that happened in, you know, the middle of the year was whatever it was. Um, but the actual real one that's going to happen in January or this, you know, through to December, through to January, I think that'll be a real test of where the club is actually in real life like do people care are people actually making that pilgrimage to go over there to go celebrate club sylvester and do new year's eve everything countdown all that sort of stuff or are they going to just stay where they are and do their own thing that's going to be the real test but regardless um big up everybody that's on the list anyway in general on that agency big up everybody that's going to be made redundant you'll find your feet eventually but i'm going to keep my eye on this and see what i go on because it's very interesting news uh, for a place that doesn't necessarily have many things in terms of its business stuff happen i mean it just kind of slowly ticks over and keeps it moving it's like a really efficient flipping volkswagen Do you know I mean? it just keeps going and going and going so the fact that this has kind of happened is some course of caution but nothing too crazy you know what i mean nothing too crazy